Hi everyone, so this video is to help you understand how to draw an oblique projection. Oblique projection is a method of drawing objects 3D. It's quite a simple technique compared to other 3D drawing methods. However, to draw accurately an oblique projection, you will need a sharp pencil, ruler, set square and rubber. You must first draw the front of the object. In this case, you will be drawing a square, 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters. If you are not sure what millimeters are, then in this case it's the same as 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters. Now, you will be drawing some 45 degree lines backwards by placing the ruler along one of the horizontal lines of the square. You should then rest the set square on top of the ruler and line up the set square with the corners as shown in the video. When drawing a cube, the distance of any lines drawn back at 45 degrees should be half the distance of the square. For example, the cube we are drawing has sides 40 millimeters, so they must be drawn back 20 millimeters in length. This should mean that the cube will look more realistic and in proportion. Draw a dot along the 45 degree lines 20 millimeters and then join the dots together. These lines should be parallel to the front vertical lines and horizontal lines. Now use a rubber to rub out any lines that went past 20 millimeters. The next stage is to turn the cube into a frame. Draw a square in the front of the cube 5 millimeters from the edge. To do this, measure 5 millimeters, 0.5 centimeters in from the edges of the square in two places. Then place your ruler along the dots and draw a faint line. You will repeat the same process for the other sides. Next, draw a 45 degree line from the bottom left corner of the front inner square frame by placing your ruler horizontally along one of the bottom lines and lining up the set square in the corner. Measure along the 45 degree line that you have just drawn 20 millimeters and draw a dot on the line. Place your ruler vertically along one of the vertical lines of the square and slowly bring it, bring it along to the dot without twisting the ruler. Then draw a line up until it hits the top of the frame. Repeat the process but now by placing the ruler horizontally along one of the bottom lines. At this stage you will need to find the middle of the side part of the frame. To do this you will need to draw two faint diagonal lines from corner to corner. This should create an X. The point that the two diagonal lines cross should be the middle. You will now need to draw a stick running through the middle of the frame by lining up the ruler with the middle of the X. It's important that the ruler remains horizontal. To do this, place the ruler along one of the bottom horizontal lines and slowly bring it up without twisting the ruler until it gets to the middle of the X. Make sure that you don't draw the stick through the frame, so start the line on the other side. Stop the line in the middle of the left hand side. Next, Give the stick a thickness by moving the ruler up slightly one or two millimeters and repeating the same process. Now draw a small curve on the left hand side of the stick to join both parts together. This should make the stick look rounded and that it's going through the left hand side of the frame. At this stage you will need to draw the handle of the mechanical toy. 
draw an oval on the right hand side of the frame in the position shown in the video. Make sure it's in the middle. Now, draw a small 1 or 2 millimeter horizontal line at the bottom of the oval and one at the top. Next, draw a curve that mirrors the left hand side of the oval. At the top of the oval you will need to draw a small curve only 1 or 2 millimeters high. Next, draw a small oval in line with the stick in the middle of the side. At the bottom of the top curve draw a small horizontal line about 3 or 4 millimeters long, like the one in the video. Again, make sure the line is horizontal by lining up your ruler with a horizontal line. Repeat at the top of the curve. Now draw a small oval at the end of the two small lines to join them up and this should make it look like a stick coming out from the oval.